This is going to be the tutorial that's going to teach you how to make this pineapple stitch shawl. And to make this, I used a 5 millimeter hook. And also, I used this uh, Ranché. Let me get a little closer. Or Shay, I should say uh, Shan Wool, which is Ran. That's what it says. I think Shan Wool is the actual people who make it. And this is the kind that it is. And it's microfiber. It's acrylic, but it's microfiber. It's really soft. And it's 100 grams. Each skein is 100 grams, 260 meters, and 284 yards. And I used, I think, two, and then this amount of the third skein. So not a lot, um, but it's not as big as the other shawls that I've been uh, making in this series of uh, shawls this, this month. Um, this one is actually shorter than the other ones. And I'll put up a picture so you can see that this one is um, more made to be worn as a, a wrap or a cape. Um, but you can make it as long as you want to make it um, a shawl if you like. But I, I really love the pineapple stitch so I wanted to make it more of a garment so that you could uh, wear it around if you wanted to. And um, I didn't put the button in any particular spot. I had uh, the model put it on. But the model is my uh, sister-in-law. And she put it on and then I just measured on her where the button would look the best and where I would have a place to put the button on the other side and uh, I chose one of these here and put it through I think the bigger one because you may have a smaller button I just took a button that I had let her pick it she chose that one and I think it looks pretty good and it fits where it needs to go and that was it it just took a second to sew on the button so, but you don't have to. It's up to you. Like I said, if you want to make it a long shawl, you can do that. So, what you need to do is, oh, sorry, didn't mean to bang the table. Get your yarn and your five millimeter hook, and let's get started. Okay. So, to begin, for the shorter one, I chained 150 loosely, but if you want a longer, a wider shawl, I should say, then go ahead and chain 183. It's a good size. Um, the multiples of this stitch is 24 and then uh, plus 15. So you, you want to go ahead and chain in sets of 24 until you have your desired length. And when you do, you just add 15 more chains and you're ready to begin. So you can adjust it as easily as, easily as you want just by adding 24 sets at a time. But most important that you want to chain loosely because you do not want your chain to be smaller than what the rest of the pattern is going to be because then you're going to have more of a this kind of effect. Your chain is going to be tight but then your rest of your stitching is going to be wide and it's going to look awful. So you need to chain loosely and as uniform as you can. What I do is I just pull up my my loop a little bit till it's wider and then I chain at the top. Then I pull up a little bit and chain. You don't want the chain to be too long you want it to be a decent enough size to where it's not going to be a tight chain. So I just pull up a little and keep chaining. So for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to do a mini section here. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 40 and I'll show you the repeat of what you'll be doing for each row and how to end the row. So I'll always be showing you how to begin the row, the repeat method that you'll be doing for the whole row, and then how you'll end that row. All the way up until um, you've done the whole repeat section that you'll just have to keep repeating those um, so many rows. Sorry, I wanted to count real quick. The amount that you'll be repeating in the shawl will be a total of 12 rows. You'll just have these 12 rows and you'll just keep repeating them over and over again. And given that I have to show in detail every row and the beginning and the end, it's going to be kind of a long tutorial. I may end up having to break this up in two or three tutorials. I don't know, depending on the length. So uh, keep this in mind. And when I get to that point where I tell you this is going to be the beginning of the 12 rows that you're going to be repeating for the rest of the, the shawl, mark the time. 
okay? Because then you'll have to come back whenever you're ready to begin the whole 12 rows again. Keep in mind also, I have not <laughs> by any means um, memorized this pattern. So I'm going to be referring to my, my pattern. I've uh, written out here a lot. So bear with me. Okay, once you have your chain completed, you will want to de double crochet twice in the seventh chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the seventh chain from the hook, you'll want to put two double crochets. So that's one and two. And then you'll want to chain two. This is going to be our first V stitch. We'll chain two and then within the same stitch that you just put the two double crochets in, you'll work two more double crochets. And this is how we'll be working our V stitches throughout this whole thing and you'll be making a lot every row. So our V stitches will consist of work all in the same stitch, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So once you've got your V stitch made, you'll want to skip three stitches, one, two, three, you'll want to chain three, one, two, three, probably easier to chain three first. So chain three and then skip three stitches and in the fourth chain you'll want to do a single crochet and then chain three and now we're going to be making what I'm going to be calling our little chain three spaces. So you've got chain three, you'll skip a stitch and in the next stitch you will single crochet. Chain three, skip one stitch and in the next stitch put a single crochet. Chain three, skip a stitch and in the next stitch put a single crochet. Again chain three skip a stitch and put a single crochet. We need five of these little spaces here. So that makes four little spaces. So we gotta do one more. Chain three, skip a stitch and then the next put your single crochet. So you always have your your little V stitch area here and then you'll, your chains that will lead you to your little chain three spaces and these little chain three spaces are well, there you go are basically these little things you know as part of the pineapple these are the little chain three spaces and you'll be you know reducing by one every time you go along so you start with five the next row will be four then three then two then one then none so this is the beginning of that if you're wondering what we just did there with those five. So you got those five little spaces. Then now you'll chain three. You will skip three stitches again and then the fourth you'll put a V stitch which consists of double crochet two. Then a chain two a little closer here and then another double two double crochets worked in the same stitch so you'll have two double crochets chain two two double crochets worked in the same stitch and then you'll skip five stitches one two three four five and then the sixth stitch you will work another V stitch And remember V stitches are two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all worked in the same stitch. And the next you'll chain three. And now this little part here that you did the second V stitch that you did in this chain three is where you started from the beginning here. When you did your V stitch and chain three, this is where you're beginning here with your V stitch and chain three. So you're going to be repeating. And what did you do afterwards? You started your 
five chain three spaces. So we're going to repeat that again and again and again. So you'll always have your, your five chain three spaces and then your two V stitches for this row. So repeat this over and over again. And when you get to the end, you'll be here with your, where I am right now with your V stitch and your chain three. And for the last stitches of the round, uh, for the row, you will one, two, three, you'll skip three stitches and then the fourth stitch, do your single crochet, chain three, skip a stitch, you're making your little chain spaces again. The only difference is you're going to only have two here on the end. And then your very last one is one stitch. You have one stitch left. So what you do in this last stitch, you will chain one and then you will single crochet, single crochet, you will double crochet in this last stitch which will kind of create a third here on the end, giving you about three mini spaces here. So the stitch before the end, you will single crochet, then you'll chain one and double crochet in the last stitch. And that will be your row one. So continue that and when you get done all the way to the end, then I'll meet you back here and we'll do round, row two. For row two of the pineapple stitch shawl you will want to chain one and turn. And into this double crochet that you did your last round, you'll want to put a single crochet into the top of it. So single crochet in your first stitch. And then you'll want to chain three, one, two, three. And this is how you'll always be working your little mini uh, chains from now on. Like I said, you'll always be reducing each round by one. So you have five this round and this round you'll have four. And how you do that is you're only going to be working in that center chain. Remember we always chain three to make our little chain three spaces. So we're looking for our middle chain. So for me it's this one. And I know you're working from behind so it can be difficult to tell. So it's nothing just to twist it back here and see which is your middle. And I only put my stitch using that top loop only and I do a single crochet then chain three find that next center chain and single crochet in it and then you want to chain three and then now every time you have to work into your, a v-stitch into your v-stitch you'll always be using these chain two spaces that make up the v-stitch so I'm going to go right into that space in between my two double crochets and I'll put my next V-stitch of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And as you can see, I'll show you from example here. These um, things that circle the pineapple stitch all these are the v-stitches so they will be running through your project so you're going to be doing many v-stitches and v-stitches and v-stitches and v-stitches so the next v-stitch before we do the next v-stitch this time you'll want to chain one and then do your next v-stitch into your last v-stitch which is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then next you will want to chain three and then now we're going to be working our little chain three spaces again for the pineapple. So you're going to be skipping this chain three space that you did last time that brought you to start doing your little chain three spaces. This is just basically like this one we're doing here. We just chain three and now we're going to um, slip stitch. And again, it's just going to be, this chaining is just to get you to where you need to go. So you're not gonna be slip stitching in these chains ever. So you're gonna find that first little bump, our uh, first little chain three space, I should say. Find the middle chain 
and single crochet. Chain three, find that next chain three space, find the center chain, and single crochet. Remember, you're going to do this for a total of four times just to get your chain three spaces over your chain three spaces. So I've done it one, two, three, and this is, whoops, sorry. I've done it, I started here with my first single crochet, then I chained three, and I connected between each chain three spaces, and now I just reached my, my fifth one down here. This is my chain three space, so that means I'm done, and I have four now on this, this row. So I chained three, single crocheted, that was one, two, three, four, and five. So I did a total of five times, but it first one was connecting. This one, chain three to connect, so that one doesn't really count. But you do do it five times, and then once you do that, you chain three, and then it'll bring us back up to our V-stitch area again, which is what you did here. And what did you do after your first chain three section? You chained three, and you, you put a V-stitch inside this one. Then you chain one, and then you put your V-stitch into the next V-stitch. Then you chain three, and then single crochet. Chain three, single crochet, and all your chain three middle stitches from last round, which will give you a total of four. Then of course you chain three, and then you start again to repeat your V-stitch inside your V-stitch again. And when you get to the end of the row, which is where I am. Get my last V stitch in here. You should be on the end of the row with your V stitch here. And all you want to do is do a double crochet in the top of the chain. So find the very top chain here, which is my one, two, three, four, five. It's the top of the fifth, no, actually my sixth chain up here. And I'm going to do a double crochet in the top of my, my chain. And then that will end row two. So continue to repeat, get to the end, and then I'll meet you back here for row three. So for row three, you want to start off by chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five and turn and you want to double, I mean you want to do a v-stitch in your v-stitch. So find the center of your v-stitch here and work a v-stitch of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, we'll get, uh, uh, stupid thing is fighting me here, my yarn, sorry about that. Okay, then after your V-stitch, you'll want to chain three. In most cases you'll always be chaining three after the V-stitch, at least when the V-stitch is to the right. Okay, so um, chain three, and then you'll start by single crocheting into the first chain three space here. Just like that. This is our little pineapple area here. So single crochet in that first, chain three space in the middle chain. Then you'll chain three and repeat down. Putting a single crochet in that middle chain and chaining three again. So you have all of your little chain three spaces collected. And this is my last one. I can tell because I got this big old thing here. So I know that's my last one. And you should have three this round. I do one, two, and three. Then you'll chain three. And then you'll do your V stitch. Chain two. And then do your two more double crochets. Your V stitch. Okay, got my V stitch. Now between the two V stitches this time, 
you will be doing a, you'll need a chain two, and then in between where you did a chain passed around, you will want to work a double crochet into that chain. Again, I just worked into the top stitch. Then again, you'll want to chain two, and then do your V stitch on this side. So you'll have your V stitch, chain two, double crochet in that chain, chain two, and then your V stitch on the other side. And this second V stitch we're doing right now is the beginning of the repeat. Just like you did here, your V stitch, then you chain three, and then you connect it in the first chain three space. And then you repeat that, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and you have your three. And then you will do your V-stitch, you'll chain three, and then do your V-stitch into your next V-stitch. Then chain two, double crochet in the chain one, chain two, and then that's where the uh, it ends for the repeat, because then you're just going to start again from here on. So continue that all the way down your row, and when you get to the end, and you're on your last V stitch here. You'll chain three. One, two, three. And then you will find your next chain three space. Put your single crochet, chain three again. Find your next chain three space, single crochet in there. And then for the last few stitches here, you have one stitch left, so what you'll do is chain one and do a double crochet in that last stitch, which gives you kind of a, another hole there to work with. So that is the end of one, two, three. So that's the end of the third row. And when you're ready, we'll start the fourth. So to start the fourth, one, two, three, four, chain one, and turn, and we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch, which is that double crochet from last round where we ended. Put a single crochet in that first one, then you'll chain three, and then find this next chain three space and put a single crochet. And again, chain three. Now you have one little chain three space here on the end. And then you'll want to work your V stitch and your next V stitch. And then your next middle section here, where you had your double crochet, you had your V-stitch, then your chain two, and then your double crochet, chain two, and the V-stitch from last round. Now we did our V-stitch here, and in this center double crochet, we're going to, let me just make sure here, okay, after our V-stitch, you'll want to chain two, and then put a double crochet in the top of that double crochet. Then chain three, one, two, and three. And then in that same double crochet, you want to put another double crochet. So worked in the same stitch will be double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then on the other side, you'll want to chain two and then start your V stitch in this V stitch from last round. Row, sorry. Okay, then you'll want to chain three. We're going to be starting our mini spaces now here. So find the first small mini space here and single crochet to the middle chain. Chain three, find the next. Single crochet in the middle chain, chain three. And this is our last one here. Chain three. Okay, so we have three last round, so you should only have two this round, and I do. 
So when you're done, you chain three and you go right back into your, your V stitch. And that's where your repeating starts. I'll show you when I get this V stitch done. Okay, that V stitch here is exactly where you start. Whoops, here. So you just did your V stitch. So now you're going to want to chain two. And then in the double crochet from last round, you'll want to do double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then you want to chain two on this side and do your other V stitch. Then you'll chain three and you'll make your two little chain three spaces here. Then you'll chain three and then you'll start your V stitch all over again. You'll just keep repeating to the very end. And then as you can see at the end, you should end with a have a V stitch here close to the end. Just a second here. So at the end of this row, you'll want to chain two after this last V stitch. And then worked in the third chain out of your five that you did here, you did a chain five. So you, you want to do it in the third stitch from the bottom. So you'll count from the bottom. One, two, three. So you'll basically you're in the middle stitch of your five, of your chain five. Uh, you'll want to do a double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet. Worked all in that same chain. And that's how you'll end that row, which is row four. So for row five, so keep continuing to do this, and when you finish the end, I'll see you back here for row five. So for row five, you want to chain three and turn. And now worked in this chain, because remember you did a double crochet, chain one, double crochet worked in this chain three space. It created the space in between. Now in that space, you want to put three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Three double crochets worked into that space. And then you're going to want to chain one, and then working in your V stitch again, put another V stitch. And then you'll want to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to be working in our little chain spaces here again. And we have two, remember, from last round? So it's going to be a simple single crochet in the center chain of this one. Chain three. And then single crochet in the center chain of this one. And chain three. And it's going to give us our one on the end here. So then you'll want to do a V stitch in the next V stitch, chain two, then a V stitch, complete. Okay, now I got my V stitch complete. Now we're going to be repeating this pattern um, pretty much from this point on. Wait, no, from this point. So I'll show you this next part. This is the center part where you're basically going to be beginning your next pineapple here. So in this chain three space where we did our double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the center of our V stitches here last round, this round in this space, in this chain three space, we're going to be putting uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six double crochets. So in this space here, I'm going to put six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sorry, my yarn is caught again. 
six. Okay, and then on the other side of this, oops, I think I forgot to chain one. Sorry about that. After your V-stitch, I mean, after you uh, create your V-stitch, before you make your six double crochets, you'll want to chain one. And you'll do the same thing after your six double crochets, you'll chain one. So sorry about that. Chain one after your V-stitch, and then put your six double crochets worked in this chain three space. Three, four, five, sorry, seven, seven, seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets, then chain one, and then in the next V stitch, work your V stitch as normal, and that's where um, the repeat begins with this V stitch that you're doing now. This was like the very first V stitch that you started from here. So now again you'll want to repeat chain three, single crochet in the center chain here, chain three, single crochet in this chain center here giving you one space here. Then chain three, do your V stitch, chain one, do seven double crochets, then chain one, and then you'll be back at the beginning here again. And when you get to the very end and you've done your last V stitch of the round on this side, how you'll end it is you will chain three. One, two, and three. Find your center chain here and single crochet into it. And then again, you'll want to chain one and double crochet in the last stitch. And that's how you're end. You're going to end round seven. I say one, two, three, four, five. In round five, sorry. Boy, I'm all over the place. So that's how you end round five. So when you're done with round five, come back here and I will show you how to do round six. So for round six, we're going to chain one and turn. And again, we're going to be putting a single crochet in this first stitch into our double crochet from last round. Then we will chain three, one, two, three. And then working in our V stitch, we'll put another V stitch. One, two, three, oops, three, two, then chain two, and then put two more double crochets. Okay, got a V stitch, and then you will want to chain two, one, two. Going to be working in our seven double crochets from last round. You're going to go into the first double crochet and do a double crochet. Then chain one, and then repeat this for all of the double crochets here, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, you should have a total of seven, S except after the seventh double crochet, you'll want to chain two, so let's make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, so this will be my seventh, so when I'm done with my seventh, I want to chain two, the rest you just chain one in between. Then you'll do a V stitch in this next V stitch. Just like that. So that's what you have now in your center between your V stitches. V stitch, and then this will be uh, basically here. We'll start repeating. So this is where you basically you ended your chain three. I mean, your little chain spaces on this side, but it was only a half. And now we're going to have a full one here. So after this V stitch here, you want to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're just going to find the center chain. 
in fact you always do put a single crochet and then chain three and then find your next V stitch and put a V stitch inside of it let me just make sure here but I think this is where your repeat begins yes so this is where your your there I am this is where your beginning uh, repeat begins of where you started here so you just did your next V stitch which is here so now you'll want to chain two and then do one double crochet and chain one and the next six and then double crochet in the seventh chain two and then do your V stitch worked in your next V stitch then chain three single crochet in that top center chain like you usually do then chain three and then you're back up here again to your v-stitch and as you can see you'll continue that all the way down the row and when you get to the end you should have your v-stitch here and after your v-stitch you'll chain two and then you have these four little spaces you put uh, last round you worked three double crochets into this little space here plus the chain on the end so you essentially have four double crochets here so what you want to do is work a double crochet in each of these four stitches so you'll double crochet one then chain one then double crochet chain one then double crochet chain one and then double crochet in the top of the chain you just basically did what you did here but only half this is your half one so that ends round one two three four five six so that ends round six and now you're going to be repeating this next row is going to be the place where you need a mark because this is going to be this next row will be round seven so remember round seven you're going to be repeating over and over again okay I just wanted to take a moment because uh, the pattern that I, I've written out um, I go more in detail since I can't just show you what I'm doing which is so much easier um, I'm using a lot of pictures and I am going through more of the rows with you um, to the repeat and then I do an extra row so on the repeats on the pattern will be from rows 8 to 19 but it's still 12 rows it's still going to be the 12 rows that you're going to be repeating over and over again so but with this tutorial I'm going to be showing you for for the next 12 rows so from round 7 to 17 for 12 rows we're going to be repeating this over and over again so be sure to mark this spot on time. So we're going to start seven, seventh row, you'll chain three and turn. And now in these chain one spaces that we did, we did a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. And uh, for row six, that's how we ended. This is like we did here too. You'll be working in those chain one spaces in between. And this is where you're essentially using them as you did here when you were making your chain three spaces but you're going to be using those chain one spaces to create your chain three spaces again so in your very first chain one space you'll single crochet then you'll chain three again find your next chain one space and single crochet then chain three again find your next chain one space and single crochet. Now you've just given yourself one, two, three spaces here at the beginning. Now you want to chain three, one, two, three, and you'll be working your V stitch into your V stitch. And then you're going to be closing up this gap. So you're just going to go from this V-stitch and just go right into the next V-stitch 
without chaining or anything. You're just going to move right into this next V stitch and put your next V stitch. One, two, chain two, one, and two. Now you've closed up that gap area. Now again, you want to chain three, one, two, three, and again, you're finding the chain one spaces in between. So you'll find your first chain space in between your double crochets here, and you'll single crochet. Then chain three, find your next chain one space, single crochet. Chain three, next chain one space. Remember how when we first began here we had five little chain three spaces. That's pretty much what we're starting again. One, two, three, and this last little chain one space. Put in a single crochet. Now look, you've got your five little chain three spaces again. And then chain three. And then in the last V stitch, or well, last V stitch, and <laughs> after you get done with the uh, little chain spaces, you will V stitch in the next V stitch. And that's where you'll be repeating your pattern from where you began here. So again, you'll be bridging that gap going right over to the next v-stitch way over on the other side here and you'll do your v-stitch in there then you'll chain three and then the chain one spaces in between these seven double crochets from last round you'll be putting one you'll be doing your single crochet chain three single crochet chain three worked in all those chain one spaces and giving you your five again and then you'll chain three and then start your next V stitch, which is this one, which will be closing your gap again. So it's just going to be repeating. And then when you get to the end, you will, ah, this is where you do a quadruple crochet. So to bridge the, the gap, I guess, to make it even because you're pulling this closer together, they make you do a quadruple. So to do a quadruple crochet, you want to yarn over three times, giving you four total loops on your hook. Go into the last stitch of the round here, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops at a time. You should be doing this four times. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now we've got our quadruple. And that ends row seven. So when you get done, chain three for row eight and turn. So for row eight, we're going to go right into this first V stitch of our round and put a V stitch. And then you'll chain three, one, two, three. And again, we're going to be working in these little chain three spaces. You'll find the center chain, put a single crochet. Chain three, find the next center chain of the chain three, and single crochet. And just keep repeating it. Remember, this time you're going to have four when you get done. Find the next one. Hmm, feels like I'm going horse. And then the final one. There. Now we have our four little spaces. Then we want to chain three. Find our next V stitch here. And put a V stitch in it. Okay, now this, this time in between the two V stitches, we're going to be chaining one. And then do your next V 
v-stitch in the next v-stitch here and this v-stitch will begin to repeat your pattern of the row this is where we begin it's the same as here the v-stitch we just did so you're going to be chaining three now and then single crochet chain three single crochet and all those chain three center chains from last round which gives you four spaces this round this row and then you'll chain three and then you'll do your V stitch in your next V stitch chain one and then you'll be repeating you'll put your V stitch in the next V stitch then you'll chain three and then you'll be repeating and when you get to the end you should have this which is a the V stitch on the end and you'll have your little spaces chain three spaces here you'll chain three and you'll go into this first top of the middle chain chain three do it to the next one as well and then let's see one two and then one more time chain three then you will find your last stitch of the round and put a single crochet so after your v-stitch you'll chain three single crochet in the center chain three chain three do it again single crochet in the center chain three then you'll chain three one more time and put a single crochet in the last stitch of the round giving you two little spaces and that's the end of row eight so for row nine, one, two, three, you'll chain three and turn, and you'll go right into this middle, this first middle section here, find the middle chain, and do a single crochet. Chain three, find this next center single crochet, and single crochet, I mean chain, and <laughs> single crochet. Then you'll chain three, and now you have two little spaces here in the end well again you have two spaces here but now you have two again you have actually one and a half here now so after you did your chain three you're ready to move on over to your V stitch do your V stitch in this next V stitch one and two and this will be where you'll come back whenever you begin your repeat again so this time, we did a chain one in between the two V-stitches last time. So this time, we're going to be chaining two, putting a double crochet in that chain. Chain one from, um, putting that double crochet in that chain one from last round. Then you'll chain two and put a V-stitch in the next V-stitch. So you should recognize it. We did it before. We did the chain two, double crochet in the chain, chain two, and V stitch. Okay, then after that, you'll chain three, and then again you'll be working in your little chain three spaces. You just need to find the center chain to start and single crochet chain three find the next single crochet chain three find the next one single crochet in the last row you had four so this row you should have three which I do one two three then you'll chain three and you'll do your V stitch on this side when you get done this is where you'll be repeating this one here is the same as this one here so now you will do your chain two double crochet in that chain from last time and then chain two do your next V stitch chain three 
then start working your little chain three spaces in the center of the chains from last round. You should have three. Then you'll chain three and you'll do your V-stitches again, starting here. And when you reach the end, you can see I have one V-stitch here on the end. So after this last V-stitch, you'll want to chain two and then double crochet in the top of the chain three here. Just like that. And that is how you will end row nine, right? Nine, yes. That's how you'll end row nine. So for row ten, you want to chain three, turn, and then actually you want to chain four. So chain four, and then you will be in the same space here where we did our double crochet last round. You're going to be putting a double crochet there. And what this chain four does is the chain three counts as a double crochet and then this fourth chain will count as the chain one in between these two. So this is where we're, we're going to be working our double crochets next round. So then you want to chain two and then v-stitch in your first v-stitch here. And then you want to chain three, one, two, and three. Find your next chain three space. And then single crochet in the center chain. Again, chain three, find the next one. Oops. And chain three. And find the next one. That's the last one. I had three last round. I should have two this round. I do. Then you'll want to chain three to bring yourself back over to your V-stitch. Chain two. And then finish your V-stitch. At least I will. Okay, got my V-stitch in there. Now after your V-stitch, you did your double crochet work in your chain space the last round. So within this um, chain, I mean within this double crochet, single double crochet here, we're going to be working our um, space that so we'll be working our double crochets next round. And to do that, you just chain two, go into the top of this double crochet, and in this double crochet, you'll be doing double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. Work all in the same stitch and then you'll chain two on this side as well and then you'll be doing your V stitch that you'll be repeating beginning your uh, repeating session your section sorry the repeating section again so this is where you started here you did your V stitch this is the one I just did here so now you'll chain three, connect it here in the middle stitches. Do that until you have your two spaces. Chain three, do your V-stitch. Then you will chain two. Then you'll do your double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all worked in this double crochet from last round. Then you'll chain two and do your double, I mean, do your V-stitch, which again will bring you back up to here. And when you get to the very end, You're here on your little half pineapple here. You'll want to chain three after this V-stitch. And then go right into the center of this chain three space. Chain three again. Find the last stitch of the row, which will be this one here. Just kind of the middle of the chain. So this is the chain three of one, two, and three. So I'm gonna find my middle chain here too, and that's gonna count as the end of my row. And that is the end of row 
10. And I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial here because it's going to be crazy for you to have to keep trying to back out, back up and try to find where you are in a huge video. So I will see you back here for row 11.